three, two, one. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just to let you know, I'm recording this on my microphone and then I'm recording the video separately because my webcam sucks and I want to be able to see this well. So, this is a custom order from Saberforge. And I already started cutting the tape when I realized I need to fix my camera angle. So, let's finish opening this. I ordered this back in September and I wasn't surprised that it took as long as it did because from the details that I saw, um, they have to basically make the parts from scratch. I'm out of breath from running upstairs and making sure all of this is set up, so I apologize. Move my mic back a little bit, just so it's not in the way. Me. I was a little bit nervous about getting a custom order, but I wanted something that fit me and nothing of theirs seemed to really appeal. Toss that up to the side. Okay, here's the blade that they sent. It's a nice 24 inch blade. Matches the one that I already have. Ooh, this is heavier actually. That means it's going to be better for dueling. Might be brighter. It's got a, a nice line of filament on the inside, so it's going to be pretty even lighting. All the way up the blade. And then we have my prize. Let's see. Sleep right there. Let's see if we can't get through that real quick. Just tear the bubble wrap. see. There's a charging cord. Ah, there's the belt clip that I ordered. So that'll be nice. Yeah, it comes with a charger cord. It's just a micro USB, which is nice. That's universal. There's your user guide link. It comes with a QR code so you can find it easier. Here's a little Allen wrench. First layer bubble wrap gone. It just went under my desk, but whatever. Come on, tear the bubble wrap. Alright. And wow, they really wrap this thing up. Oh, this looks so cool already. I can't even see it. Here we that looks really cool. There's a little bit more of a difference between the actual handle and the uh, and the switch, but that's just fine. Oh, that was a little loose. So this is what it looks like. So I use the short katana handle. I use um, the katana switch, and then I use the gladius hilt. Oh, and it even comes with the. I forgot I added that. That was a free little thing that they added in. Um, it's just a blade plug to make sure that nothing gets in your um, blade socket when you're not using it. So, let me see if there's anything else in here. I don't think there is. Okay. There is not. Bring this off to the side. So let's take the blade plug out. I'll probably actually use the blade plug in my other lightsaber, it's back in the corner, um, just because it'll fit better because this is a, a black one and the free blade plug was silver as you can see. So let's unscrew these little bits right here, take that out, see it's something super simple, just a little bit of lettering on it, You can it'll focus in on that, guess not. But. Yeah, I think it's made out of the same material as the blade. Yeah, this blade is really heavy. That's gonna be interesting. So, you simply slide it in. Did that go in all the way? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. The uh, lower screw doesn't need to come out. 
Hmm. Wonder if it's because it's shorter. Because this lightsaber is, I, I designed it to be a little bit shorter than your average one because I'm going to be using it in my offhand. This is actually a really nice grip, um, whether you're holding it down below or up top, I really like that. It gives you, it's got a couple of major rims on it which actually fit really nicely in my hand. So let's get the blade in here. So this has the uh, Champion soundboard in my monitor. Um, so that means I can go in and if I want, I can uh, create my own sound files um, and upload them to the SD card that is available on the inside. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight. Okay, now, I'm using my phone right now, right. Uh, Saber Forge, I'll cut this out. Okay, so right now it is, it says it's semi-charged and it is in a deep sleep mode. The master. Hmm. So apparently, oh, yep, it's in stand, oh, it's purple. I wonder if that changes with the blade color as well. Let's hear what the let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a bit more of a bluish purple. It's probably really hard to see on the camera. That is really cool. I like that. And then I believe. Yeah, you just hold it down and turn it off. Yeah, even with the heavier blade, because of how thick the saber is itself, it actually works really well. And this this pommel, or this uh, hilt looks really cool, if you can see that. It's got a slight indent into it, kind of curves in, and then it's got holes on the inside that kind of line where the blade is at. I don't think the light comes through that, but it still gives it a really cool effect. Um, I got this one. I got this uh, this pommel right here because in the future I might want to put a D-ring just on that so I can clip it to my belt just in case the uh, the CoverTech wheel and the CoverTech clip don't work out well for whatever reason. But Yep, as I assumed. So, you have this on your belt. Take the lightsaber. I believe you just slide it on. And then there are two buttons on the side of the wheel, or of the clip, which you just press, and it pulls right out. So you can probably do it one-handed. Let me try. Oh yeah, you can very easily do that one-handed. So, that's nice. So let's see couple of different settings. Uh, sound menu, point your blade up, hold the button for two seconds, and then release. Sound menu. Okay. Cyber assassin. Dark harvest. Balance. Let's see what the balance sounds like. Oh, tap the button. Grievous, I think. The classic villain. Classic villain. Not sure what that was. Nightwood. Fulcrum. Ooh, Fulcrum. So leave sound in the Okay. So it should be on the Fulcrum sound font now.
It's a little bit harsher of a hissing sound than I thought it would be. I love the smooth swing on this one. Okay, that's really cool. I'll have to mess with that. Um, volume control. Point your saber downwards and hold the button for two seconds before releasing. Volume control activated. Okay, I'm glad they add the little... Can you hear that volume difference? It's not just me moving away from the mic. I'm watching the sound form on my recording. Play. Okay, and then you turn it back on. I'm running over the bubble wrap. <laughs> there we go. I like that, that's really cool. The edges are a little bit, um, they're not sharp. They're, they're definitely not sharp, but they're a little bit edgier than I thought they would be. But overall, I'm, I'm really liking this. Let's see. Hold button down and stab. Checking power level. 100% left. That's cool. Um, so I need I do need to calibrate it just to, after I fully charge it, so I'll have to do that after this. Um, Let's see, Saber Editor menu. I'm not going to mess with the editing stuff right now. I'll do that off cam. Let's see. Active mode. So when this is on, or wait. Oh. Hold on a minute. I need to read this. Oh, so this, okay, so the active mode is where you go in to edit how your saber reacts to things. Um, Sound menu. Nope. Not what I wanted. Sound menu. I think it needs to be, it says turn off blade, enter standby mode. So standby mode is when the saber's weak. Okay, yeah, it's as it is now. So I'm not sure how. Hold on. So you've got your block, or your blaster block. Which is a very, it's a very subtle flash, I like that. Um, force push, hold button, twist saber. Okay, so you just... That's really cool. Nope, hold button for two seconds really... There we go, so there's your lock up. Hold button for two seconds. Release button will save her. Tip is pointed down. I just realized that's coming out of the end a lot. It's a, you see that? It's losing a lot of light from the tip being so clear. Hmm. Uh, it's got a, it's got a nice little stab with a little flicker effect to it. It's a very faint flicker, though. Um, hold button for two seconds, release button, and perform stab. Okay. I 
Activate and deactivate power saving mode. Hold button and stab. Power saving activated. Not sure what that means. Power saving deactivated. Okay. So Enter effects menu, hold button for two seconds, release button, hold button for two seconds. Choose blade effects. Oh, there's a slight pulse. There's, there's an uneven flicker. A fairly steady, a slow and fast pulse. And they're steady again. Okay, the ten blade effects to choose from. Oh, there we go. There's more heart. Okay, so we haven't cycled back yet. There's a harsher flicker. more rapid one. Sorry if these aren't picking up well on the video. You can kind of see it more off my face than the blade itself. Okay, kind of an unsteady. And there's just a standard pulse. There's a deeper pulse. Low flicker. I have not been counting, so I'm probably going back through already. Okay, there's a steady. I think that's where we start. Looking for a rapid, there we go. Okay. So, I need to change the sound font because I want something a little bit different than what it sounds like. But uh, yeah, that's my That is my custom Saber Forge lightsaber. I'm loving all of the, I love how it looks. It feels nice. I need to go practice a little bit, obviously, to get a good feel for it. But uh, it's shorter than your average saber. Here, let me grab my other one. Um, it's just off screen. So this is my original saber. This is a simple one from Dynamic Sabers. Uh, I like it for as cheap as it was. It has everything I would need, but I wanted something a little bit better. That LED actually gets warm. I just noticed that. Hmm. So, anyways, here's the difference in height. So, it's closer to a Shoto height wise. And, you know, there. One thing that a lot of sword critics have when they're looking over lightsabers is they say there's no hilt. I mean, look at this sucker. There's nothing there. And so when I was designing mine, I wanted something that would resemble a little bit closer to an actual sword. Now, actual swords normally have... They have a standard, like, two-ended hilt. Uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber is a perfect, you know, description of that. But, uh... This one is actually going to glance the blade away from my hands, and it actually almost covers at least my fingers. So I, I wanted something that would do that, and this seems to do it very well. 
So I'm gonna go play with this for a little bit because I'm a giant man child. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll uh, see you later.